Hi guys, it's Lelt here. I promise to give you a follow up on the electric chainsaw mill I built about two weeks ago. This was a budget build, I didn't want to spend too much money on it. The electric chainsaw was about £50 and the truck and lock holder basically built it from leftover materials from previous projects. As you can see I decided to put a coat of paint on it to protect the MDF surfaces from wet wood shavings and sawdust. So the good thing about it is with minimal cost I'm able to turn my locks into usable lumber. Is it efficient? No, I wouldn't say that, but I'm having a lot of fun using it. There is one mistake I've done, is I made the truck too short, so when I'm about to exit the cut, in the last couple of centimeters, the saw runs off of the truck. But this isn't really a problem, I can still uh, easily finish the cut. What you see me doing there is uh, that I put beeswax on the surface of the truck so the saw will run smoother. Another small issue I have with that setup is that when I'm about to start a cut, the end of the blade st strongly vibrates. But as soon as the blade enters the wood 4-5 cm, the vibration basically stops. This is the same log from the first video, I just haven't finished cutting it. So I wanna get this done first, and then I have another small log, which I believe is maple. And here you can see the issue I was talking about, that the truck being too short. I'm planning to correct this in the near future with other improvements as well. So this log is eastern red cedar and I think the colors and the grain are quite nice in the slab. As you can see I don't have any height adjustment to raise or lower the blade on this mill, so what I do is I keep adding spacers underneath my log. I was about to exit this cut when the saw stopped working and first I didn't know why. I think I was pushing too hard on the porting. I think it must have some kind of overload protection in it. I couldn't get it started again so I decided to pull it apart. before you get the impression that I know what I'm doing. No, I haven't got a clue at all. But I managed to get it started again, I just don't know how I did it. Thank you. 
Okay, so finally I'm ready to carry on. And this is the maple log I was talking about. This is also from a windfall tree, but it wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, that tree was young and healthy, but there was a big tree next to it, like 10 times bigger. And that tree fell over uh, in the wind and took about three, four other trees with it. So here is all the lumber came out of these two locks. I believe the value of this is already exceeded the cost of building the mill.